Gypsy Rose Blanchard is playing in everybody's face, and I don't think y'all are seeing it. I want you guys to look at Gypsy Rose Blanchard's sweater. It says, Cruel Summer, Devils Roll the Dice. Yes, I know this is the Taylor Swift era, but come on now. If you don't know, Gypsy Rose Blanchard's mother, Claudine Blanchard, passed away June 10th of 2015. That was the summer. Cruel summer. Devils roll the dice. Now also, let's talk about the fact of why she did this. She did this for sausage. She wanted to be with her boo thing. And it wasn't the man that she used that is autistic with a low IQ and mental health issues that was collecting a disability check. She really wanted to be with Dan. And she had plans of finding a way to Dan, but instead she was arrested for her mother's unaliving. While I was watching, I wanna spin a block on the TMZ interview of her being questioned about the Menendez brothers. Now, the reason why I want to spin a block on this is I actually watched it again last night and noticed a few things that has caused me to have some questions. The thing I do want to say is Gypsy allegedly flew out of LAX and she had to have called them to tell them they were going to be there because she was originally in San Diego or San Francisco. I can't remember. So... How would they know she was going to be there? She caught them. Now, keep that in mind. And I want you to pay attention to when he asked her if she had commentary on the Menendez brothers. He went, uh, I want you guys to pay attention for that. It's one of the biggest stories in the world right now. The Menendez brothers. Have you been following that at all or? Um, not a whole lot. I'm not very uh, educated in their case or anything. So they essentially they went to prison for uh, murdering their parents. And nobody denies that they did it, but it's coming out and it's pretty credible. A lot of people feel that they were abused by their parents. So now the DA is reviewing their case and they're possibly going to get uh, released. And I kind of wanted your, you know, your, your opinion on that. Okay, well, I mean, I really can't really can't speak on the specifics of that case. I'm not really educated in that case. Uh, but um, I will say that I'm an advocate for abuse victims in general. Um, and I'm so, all about prison reform. So. so if that happened, though, if their parents did abuse them, I mean, do you do you support their, their release, you think? Well, I don't think either of us are educated enough on the subject. Sure. Well, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I agree with him. You know, I think that, you know, um, if their case is being reviewed, then, you know, Hopefully something can be done. Um, you know, I think that, you know, abuse victims need to be advocated for more. Yeah. Kim Kardashian actually supported that. And oh, she she awesome. she defended that. And, you know, she's supporting their, their release. I mean, she's gotten some some serious pushback, you know? You don't think that that's fair at all? And I mean, Kim is hard, a wise woman. Kim is a wise woman. She is. She makes good decisions. I she think, is. And, and, and for prison reform. Era. Okay. I think doing kind of that what advice would you have for them? Very simple. They spent thirty years in in prison. What advice would you have for them when they when they when they get out? You know, you dealt with it obviously. It's, it's very difficult to come out to uh, a world that has changed so much, even in the time that I spent. Okay, so if you guys noticed, when he asked her what was her commentary or her thoughts on the Menendez brothers possibly getting out. She said she didn't really have any because she didn't really know too much about it, right? Now, I think that's kind of interesting because she had just been at the college speaking on abuse and prison reform, and she spoke on the Menendez brothers, so that seemed really odd to me. Furthermore, he said, Ugh. and then he asked, started speaking about Kim Kardashian and that she um, is supporting them and she is wishing for their freedom. And she said, well, you know, she's a, she's a very smart woman, right? Um, but she looked very disinterested this whole interview. Now, of course, she called them to let them know she'd be there. But she wanted them to speak or ask her about her. And she believed they were going to ask her about her trip. But to see that they asked her about the Menendez brothers... 
that did not sit well with her. And what I think is actually really funny is even after he mentioned the Kardashians and then he said, well, you know, they were abused. There's proof of that. Um, how do you feel about them getting out? She still said she didn't know. Now, if you're saying you're all for advocacy and prison reform and they have been proven to be abused, she could have said something like this. Well, I'm not really familiar with the case. Kim Kardashian is a very intelligent woman and anything she supports, she would do it for a good cause. So if they were really abused um, and that is the evidence that's been presented, I believe they should be free as well. But that's based on the little that I do know right now. And I am all for prison reform and advocacy. And I should actually know more about this as this is one of the biggest um, abuse cases and prison reform cases right now. So it's on me for not knowing, but um, I wish them the best. No. Instead, she looked like someone that was walking through Walmart and the energy company that they do not have stopped them and was trying to get them to transfer their energy company over to them. She seemed like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, well, I don't know too much about that, as in you were trying to get away, and Ken looked very, very annoyed. Um, I just think this whole video is very interesting, and it really just shows the lack of, if it's not about Gypsy Rose Blanchard, she doesn't care. So is she really for prison reform and abuse victims? Well, considering she wasn't really abused, she doesn't feel that way. And that was very evident. And I think that that should be something that people should really note and see. So if you're a Gypsy supporter, you should question yourself very much in that interview because she said a whole lot without saying much. Anyway, she actually posted a video today of her and Ken out and about for Halloween um, when they were in California. And I want you guys to watch this. We'll talk about it right after. Gypsy was holding on to his arm so tight and he really looked like he wanted to get away. That's a strong indication of what's really going on. But I also think what's really interesting um, in this is they both looked very uncomfortable. Um, it's, I don't know. Me personally, I would be looking at things different. But I also feel like it's also worth mentioning that on a Nick Viles show, she did, or podcast rather, she did say that she was going to be Jenny and Ken was going to be Forrest Gump. After the gory unaliving of her mom using a man with special needs, the last thing I would be is Jenny. And Forrest Gump. That's the level that she's playing in our faces. And people are missing it. But yet, she puts this on her profile. Stay positive. Believe in yourself. C. Rose Blanchard is the definition of I do it for show and playing in your face. Yeah, it should be Gypsy Rose Blanchard playing in your face dot com. Okay, I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye for now.